What's up, Manifesto fam? I'm here in Vienna, Austria with my crew, Woo! the team. I wanted to invite you guys into something that the Lord uh, had me do here that was I felt very significant and I wanted to bring you into this story. So stick around and we'll show you how the Lord is building altars all across the world just like this. Wait, wait, wait. Let, well, let me introduce you to my friends. I got to Let's get their names. Let's get their their faces. Their their names and faces. They're important. So. All right. What do we got? We got Lauren. Hello. Free. Close enough. <laughs> Safe free. There you go. Um, yeah. I'm just Anastasia. No last name needed. <laughs> my name is Daniel, aka Cheggy, aka. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Cheggy. Daniel. We're gonna go to the store right now and buy a water bottle. Why are we gonna buy a water bottle? Well, you're gonna see once we get to the location. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna give the download. What? It's Sunday. What's Sunday? What? No stores open, right? Look, they're all closed. No stores. What are we gonna do? We're gonna take our empty vessel and have the Lord refill it once again. Uh, so we found this like stream of living water right here uh, and it's free you know why because with god everything's free he's already paid for it all so you just come and you just present your vessel make sure it's empty there you go empty to the fullest come on and then you just come and say lord fill and you know what he does he does just that and then you wait and oh yeah patient patience is key honestly patience is like serious key in the kingdom it makes you oh yeah don't the be afraid of all the brothers and sisters yeah. alright y'all we got our water no water was available no stores were open on the way to the park yeah we're going to the park now this park is significant I don't know the Lord just made it significant on my walk so you know when I'm in cities I go on walks and walks are my time with Jesus. So, anyway, so let's just, let's just get close to the park and then I'll talk. <laughs> what? I said it's a pretty cool alley up ahead. Yeah. It's the narrow path. It's the narrow path. It's the test of life. Are we able to walk through? I hope so. But make sure you fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just actually gonna ask you, how do you like get to be slimmer to fit into the path? Grace, honestly. Not with your friends. Not with your, according to your mama's salvation. Here's the narrow path. So here's the park. And receive the importation of the story. Here we are. So here's the table. All right, let's get set up here. All right, so we made it to the picnic table at the park we made it, we made it. Yes. So, so this is day three that i'm here at the picnic table so day one i'm taking a walk with the lord just throughout vienna right and i'm led to this picnic table right here right here you see it we're all we're all here now we've assembled and uh as i'm walking up from that trail right there i'm just walking up and i see a beer bottle on this table and as i see this beer bottle just something like infuriates within me and i'm like like no like this is this is not this is not righteousness you know and so i come i come up and i just knock it over i knock it right there 
right into the bushes and I stand on this table and I just call on the name of the Lord I just begin to just call on Jesus and, and say Lord like let, let your kingdom come here like break down alcoholism break down all the other things that this world wants to go to that is not you right and so like I'm literally standing on this table and I actually took a few shots on my camera just like as a memorial like Lord this is I feel like this is a significant moment so you know and then I just worship the Lord here the first day and then I go there and I go go back home right and so that was day one day two I'm taking another random walk just throughout the city and um, somehow like I, I went through that alley again or not again I went the other day the first day I went through another way got here the second day I went through the other side through that alley we walked through and I end up here and I'm coming up to this table and I see two water bottles standing on this table and it was a sign to me that the Lord heard my prayer like that he actually was doing something here significant that was really establishing his presence here and so from that moment I, I even took it to the next level and was like all right like the Lord is doing something let me honor it let me invest into it so I worship the Lord here again I actually poured out some of the water um, that was in one of the bottles here and just as like a, just as an offering unto the Lord and just worshiped here him again and just began to call on his name that his kingdom would be established here so biblically we see that high places are places where God encounters people and so it's kind of cool like this is like on this little mountaintop here you know so if you're wondering is this biblical or not yeah actually people go up to mountains to high places to worship their gods and to establish places like this to, to, unto the Lord for people to encounter the Lord is significant so the for the so for the first two times was on accident and this third time is on purpose and I brought my friends my team with me here to actually do it even to the fullest extent with family with community and do it with this water that we brought from that fountain just to exalt his name and to establish it intentionally if you see the lord doing things more than once more than tw if he does it once and twice you have to catch the rhythm and then begin to intentionally ride the wave that he's he's actually initiating you know so i really felt like the lord initiated this that's right ride the wave ride the wave y'all there you go so so we're here intentionally day three to just make a sacrifice unto the Lord. You know why? Because this is a place we know that people will have conversations with God. We know that people will come here and, and cry out to God. We know that salvation will happen here. We are we're gonna this is what we're gonna this is what establishing altars is. It's it's a place where we worship the Lord and we we consecrate it as a place eternally set for his presence to come and encounter people so that's why we're doing this as priests unto god if you you might have seen the other video i did about priest priest with fire you know like this is what we're talking about being the the whole god's priesthood it's establishing altar so we're just going to worship the lord here on this picnic table it's not weird guys you're supposed to do it too at this location that your well of living water would be established. We just thank you, Father, that all, around, all across this table, God, people can drink of you, God. We just proclaim, Jesus, you are the well of living water. Jesus, you are the well that never runs dry. You are the living water that quenches the thirst of men. And as men come here, as women come here to drink of worldly pleasures, we thank you that they will leave drinking living water. Jesus. Let this table from now on be consecrated onto you, God. So everything that the enemy meant for evil, let it be turned around for your good. Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yeah, and even as Elijah poured out water on the sacrifice, Lord, we pour out this water, Lord, let your fire fall. Yeah. yeah. It's your fire fall here, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the fire of love, the fire of truth, the fire of your word. Let, let your fire fall, God. And when they come here, may your light just penetrate through the darkness. Oh, this is just one of the many, many altars, God. 
one of many altars where people can sacrificially give themselves to God. We can pour out their heart to you, Jesus. Give you an offering of praise and thanksgiving, Lord. Just establish your Table of the Lord. It's crazy because the on the Europe Shall Be Saved vlog, uh, we were at a table as well, the granite table, if you remember. And now we're at a table again. I, just, I mean, mm. this is crazy. It's the, the table. The Lord establishes with tables. Yeah. Not some money. Yeah. So next time we're gonna have to have a picnic here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cool that it's, a, it's Sunday. Today's Sunday, and it's wow. like our little church service here. You table know? of the Lord. Come on, somebody. His blood was shed on the wood, you know? And the, his blood was shed on the wood, and this is a wood table. He's yeah. come to redeem. He has come to redeem. Alright, friends, that's a wrap. That was um, a special moment to share with you guys. Um, it's a weighty, I don't know, it's a weighty thing. So I hope you take it seriously take it seriously but this is what Jesus people do <laughs> they establish altars go and establish altars wherever you go his present-day altars for us are tables you know um, and I, I mentioned that on the last vlog and same thing in this one he wants to establish tables the place where we dine the place where we sit and rest and enjoy food a place where we actually commune with him and realize that he's brought us to his table so anyways thank you guys for joining me on this journey of the euro trip missions trip i'm gonna have jeggy close out jeggy you gotta close out for us huh? you gotta close out close it out all right <laughs> if y'all right now do not subscribe i'm gonna find you okay and if not i'm gonna send ministering spirits and angels and they're gonna mess with you <laughs> i'm just kidding but hey subscribe you'll be blessed and then you know the more subscribers the more dope we get from youtube come on let's do it for the kingdom <laughs>